Okay folks, we're looking at 7.1, simple interest. In this particular unit, we're going to be looking at formulas that we need to memorize. If you were listening for this for the 3M video, this would have to be 8.1, which is also the simple interest lesson. This simple interest formula I call the IPERTY formula, I-P-R-T. Each of these letters stand for a certain concept. I stands for the interest value in dollars. So how much interest in dollars will you get? P stands for the principal, the present value, the, pr the current amount, the original or initial value that we started with. R is known as the rate of the interest. Now, it's very important that the rate of interest is always referred to as a decimal. And even when we get to the harder formulas later on in this unit, you're definitely going to need the decimal value of the interest rate because it's posted as a percent, but when you use it in the formula, it's always a decimal. And T, T represents the time in years. Always in years, regardless of which problem it is, the time is always expressed first in years. All right. Now, the other formula that's important that's used in all the other units is the A equals P plus I. A equals P plus I has to do with the amount equals the principal plus the interest. So the future amount, the future value, the later amount, A being later, well, is equal to the present value, the, the principal, the current amount, P, the original value, plus the interest dollar amount. Now, so again, A represents the total amount, P is the original P that was originally there, and the I is also the same value. So both P and I are the same in the other formula, but A stands for the total amount. That's the future. That's the future value. That's the later amount, A being later. All right, let's look at an example. Determine this, <coughs> sorry folks, the simple interest earned on each investment. How much is the entire investment worth is the next question. Now, if this was an application question, I would take out that first part. So that would make it application. The original question that I gave you right here is the um, is knowledge. But because if I was to take out those first two, just like that, it would imply that it is a uh, application. So just how much is the entire investment worth? A simple interest it you would definitely be an application question. All right, so part A. The dollar value is $550, and it's deposited for five years and earns 2.2% per annum simple interest. And that's about the going rate right now. It's not very big, and it's not worth much to us in terms of value. So when you look at this particular question, 550 is about something you might have saved in an account right now. Think of it as money that you want to save for, let's say, five years from now, when you're 21, and you want a weekend away somewhere. You want to have it on your 21st birthday, a weekend away. In order to have that weekend away, you need to have a certain amount of money. You save that 550, and 2.2% is something that you could probably earn right now. Um, and in this case, we're just looking at simple interest, which is interest earned on the original amount of money. It is not extra interest. You don't get interest on interest. You only get the interest on the original amount of money that you deposited. So 550 is the current value. And that's P. That's right now. That's the present value. Five years is the time. So that's T. The rate of interest is 2.2% per annum. So that's your R. But remember that R has to be a decimal. 
And again, the word simple shows up, so that tells us we must use simple interest. So you set out the letters, I pretty letters, and I pretty letters, and you get I equals, don't know, P equals 550, R equals the decimal value of the 2.2%, which is 0 0.022, and the T value is 5. Plug it into the formula, 550 times 0 0.022 times 5, and you get a value of $60.50. That is not how much the investment wor is worth. That is the only the interest, the simple interest earned. In order to find the final value, how much the entire investment is worth, you have to take 550 and add the interest, the I, so that's a P plus I, and that gives you $610.50. Don't forget the therefore statement, folks. So therefore, $650, $610.50 is available after five years. All right, try another one. So, let's say $6,000. Grandma gives you $6,000 and is deposited for seven years and earns 2.5% per annum. Simple interest. We need to use the for I pretty formula again, and the reason why is because it's simple interest. So automatically, as soon as you see the word simple, you know it needs to be the I pretty formula. So here we go, I pretty, you got I, which you don't know, P, which is 6,000, R, which is 2.5%, so 0 0.025, and T is 7, 7 years. Plug it in the formula, I equals 6,000 times 0 .0025 0 .0 and times 7. And you end up with a value of $1,050. So the total final amount, how much it's worth, will be the principal plus the interest which will be a grand sum total of $7,050. So therefore, $7,050 will be the total value. All right, folks, that's the end of this video. Let's go on to 7.2. Take care.